All right, what is up, everyone? My name is Ian, otherwise known as Shots, and in today's video, guys, we'll be showing off the Diamond Shotgun in Black Ops 6. So the two shotguns that are currently in the game are the Marine SP, which is a pump-action shotgun. As you can see, I have this Diamond. You also have the ASG, which is a semi-auto shotgun, which I also have Diamond. We use the ASG in today's video with this class setup right here. I personally use the Modified Choke so I can get um, better ADS pellet spread. Then I use Fast Mag so I can reload faster. Then Assault Grip, Light Stock, and the Study Aim Laser. I'm about to say, these all help to provide a really good shotgun for up close. As you can see, it is Diamond and everything. But see, yeah, that's the class up and everything I use, guys, in today's video. And I will say, so if you are trying to unlock gold or a diamond for your shotguns, I'm going to tell you guys right now that it is a major struggle trying to get 100 headshots with a shotgun. My personal method of trying to do this or getting this challenge complete is playing hardcore face-off to make sure that your shotgun one-taps people. But then, alongside that, you want to try and shuffle maps to try to get stake out. Whenever you get stake out, what I personally do is I literally just laid on the ground the whole entire map and tried to lay down and hold angles and just aim strictly for the head and pray that I get a headshot. That's what I did if you guys want any tips. That's really the best I can give you. But I want you guys to know that this class of weapons is going to be a struggle. But thankfully, there's only two of them you have to worry about. But yeah, I'm not going to waste you guys this time any further. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let's jump into the gameplay. But boom, we have diamond camo right here. I have it on my shotguns, uh, this automatic one, and then the Marine SP, which is the pump action. And honestly, it looks really, really good. We're going to try to get a little gameplay here with it. Admittedly, I will say this gun is pretty broken. But yeah, we're going to try to get a little gameplay with this. Can try to go for a nuke. Don't know how well that's going to go with a shotgun, but we'll see what will happen. But see, yeah, it might be a little bit difficult because we'll be more up close, but we'll try to at least go for some high kill. So the funny thing about diamond or just mastery camos in general in this game is that you unlock your mastery camo so fast to the point where you basically only get your gun to level like 20 or so, or like 25 roughly, before you unlock, or whenever you get the mastery camo, you're only at like level 25, 20, around that area. Oh my god, they just got cooked. There's another guy right there. I need to reload. Got that guy. I did now just remember I have smoke on instead of stims. But I say we are gonna try to use these to our advantage. Oh, I just picked up a random gun. And there's a Semtex. Oh, bro. Okay, now let's pop this UAV and try to start cooking. Say, in my personal opinion, I think uh, Black Ops 6's Diamond is really, really good. The only thing I did wish it had is a little bit of shimmer here and there. Like, you can sometimes see it, but, like, not really. I just wished it kind of glowed, maybe. Or something like that. I wish they would just make it reactive. If they made it reactive, it'd be even better. One thing I just not realized, though, is I'm gonna have to get more ammo. Because I am getting very low on ammo. But since we're using a shotgun as well, we can't really use it all too well at range. But so makes getting kills from like a far distance it's really hard because just like that right there it takes a lot of shells to kill people we can really easily run out of ammo but luckily we popped this harp real fast i almost died right there that would have been bad but we have this harp so we can see where everybody is now i guess that guy should say okay i gotta keep in mind as well that i have a launcher it's my backup weapon so basically if i die or anything i am kind of screwed I was say, I killed a guy or two with that grenade as well, though. Ooh, crap, there's a dude right there. They're all right over here on the point. And I don't think I have a, um... Oh my god. Let's say, the spawn trap is still here. No, I ran out of ammo, bro! You see what I mean, guys? Right there, it takes too long to kill people. I'm running out of ammo anyway, but I did get my chopper gunner. Here soon, I am going to try to upload a video on the Dreadnought, which is like the AC-130, but better. But I'm currently only level 51, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have 54. So it might be a minute or two. And first badger just deployed the best C4 the world has ever seen. I do have a chopper gunner in my back pocket, so I'm going to use this relatively soon. I'm going to try to get a couple kills real fast. Guys trying to hide in the corner. Oh, I'm about to say, rocket launcher. Oh no, he has battle hardened. Move. 
But say, I'm gonna try my best as well to try to start using Omni movement more. Because I've noticed that throughout my time in the game itself so far, just for the first couple days of release, I haven't really found Omni movement to uh, benefit me that much. And I feel like it definitely could if I actually learned how to use it a bit better. So I'm trying to pick up on any strategies or things that can just kind of psych enemies out. Let's say this UAV is helping a lot. Also guys, if you have not watched my most recent video, I actually did drop a nuke. And I will be doing a settings video soon. So if you guys want to know my settings for Black Ops 6, you can see those pretty soon. That'll most likely be my next upload after this. And I'll also be keeping you guys updated with the camo grind. Let's say I couldn't really tell where that guy was. I'm trying to watch out for that mine or whatever. I think at like roughly 200 score or so, we'll deploy the topper gunner. In my opinion, Babylon is a great map for the chopper gunner because it's basically wide open except for the part in the middle and the little tunnels over there. You can pick up a lot of kills and that's a spring mine. Oh my god, I almost died to that. Alright, we're about to be at 200 score. I don't really care if I die here because about that, I can just respawn and pop it again. But let's use this um, chopper gunner. Here we go. I'll say, yeah, we're lighting them up. The way the chopper gunner fires sometimes is a little bit weird, because if you guys can see, my bullets, like, actually, like, stray a little bit, if that makes sense. They, like, wiggle around. They don't go exactly where my crosshair is. There we go. There we go, they all spawned in the open. Oh, that's myself. Okay, what am I doing? Wow. Got a lot of kills off of that. On this UAV. Five player, we'll try to finish this game out strong. Boom. But say, some of these guys have like a weird obsession with kind of just camping or just finding a spot they really like and staying. Oh crap, I gotta reload. Oh no. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Well, say, thankfully I'm getting some of my ammo back here let's go though 107 and 15 guys what a game well that's diamond shotgun